It's time now for a full check of the forecast. Let's turn things over to meteorologist Juan Acuna, who's joining us with the very latest Several gorgeous, gorgeous days that we <laughs> yeah. just experienced. That's right. Give us a good one heading into the weekend, Juan. <laughs> As we go into the weekend, we're going to start off looking great. And, you know, if yesterday was any indication, it should be a nice weekend for us. We got to 80 degrees yesterday. This is the official almanac yesterday out at Corpus Christi International. We started off at 39 degrees and then we shot up into the lower 80s. This is all in advance of that frontal boundary that came in late into the evening. So a 41 degree temperature spread uh, from uh, more morning all the way into the afternoon. That's just incredible. And we're just three degrees away from the uh, afternoon high temperature, the record high temperature, I should say, that was set back in 1971. So just, just incredible for us. We are starting off on the chilly side once again, but we do have two more beautiful days of some sunshine. I went on ahead and I put that at the top of our weather story, but for tonight with clear skies and we'll have breezy conditions this afternoon, which will taper off later on this evening and going into the overnight hours. A good portion of us will be at or near freezing for tomorrow morning. So about now is the time to take cautions, especially this afternoon. If you have the outdoor pets, make sure they have a place to stay warm and cover that sensitive vegetation. Because then on Sunday, that's when we'll start to see increasing cloud coverage across the region. We'll start to see increasing wind as well. And as we head on into next week, uh, we will have an unsettled weather pattern here. And the good news is that we need the rainfall. And that's exactly what's going to be in the forecast for us here. More wind, more clouds, and some extra rain. We're at 43 right now, though. We do have a northerly wind uh, coming in at 8 miles an hour this morning. So it's 43 here, 51 out at the Naval Air Station. Our water temperature this morning was a registering 55, but 43 over over in Mathis as well as in Alice and even Falfurias into the upper 30s at 39 degrees. So the winds for the inland parts of the coastal bend are not bad going in about 5 to 10 miles an hour, but still breezy along the coastline. Again, boaters and mariners, we have that small craft advisory in effect until 9 o'clock this morning. 38 is what it feels like, though, when you add the wind chill. 39 over in Alice and Hebronville. And as we talk about the wind chill, again, our bodies lose heat through convection. This is a wind chill explained. So uh, if it's uh, 20 degrees outside, this is just an explanation for us. Uh, with little or no wind, a layer of the heat remains to help us stay warmer as well. And that's when it feels like it's 20 degrees outdoors. But you add a little bit of some wind to this, and then we start to lose the heat more rapidly. Our insulating layer starts to go away, and that's when we start to feel uh, those uh, top wind speeds making it feel a whole lot colder outside. So that's when we talk about the wind chill or what it feels like outdoors. That wind just takes the body heat away from us, and that's why it feels a little bit colder outdoors. So just a little explanation this morning. 43, our hour-by-hour hour forecast. That's where we are right, uh, right now, but later on this afternoon, 56 six by 11 o'clock and as we go throughout the afternoon we'll hold on to that northerly wind and look for afternoon highs right into the middle 60s 66 here middle to upper 60s for our inland communities our seven day forecast very quickly shows 31 and cold tomorrow morning 68 in the afternoon more cloud coverage on sunday a little boundary comes in stray showers not a big deal a break but more wind on mlk day on monday and then milder and rainfall returns on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week, it's not a ton of rainfall. It's just mainly cloud coverage with some shower activity, but afternoon highs are back in the lower 70s. Paula. All right, Juan, thank you for that explanation. Class was in session, folks.